Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me at Ryan Dome. My name's Ryan, and guys, I have a brand new Unity tutorial for you today. Uh, previous episodes ago, I uh, showed you guys how to create a enemy AI. Uh, however, we had a problem with it where the enemy would always walk through solid objects. And it was kind of a pointless AI because it would just follow you kind of like a ghost. Uh, however, I've created a solution to that, and uh, this is what it is. Basically, we need this enemy to walk around this wall. So, we need to give it some kind of pathfinding ability. Now, what's cool about Unity is it actually comes with a pathfinding kind of a, a uh, pathfind. It comes with something that already maps out a pathfinding path for the AI. So, what you have to do is go to Window, uh, Navigation. Mine pops up over here. See how I have the Inspector and Navigation? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the ground that I want the enemy to walk on. And I'm just going to go down here. Actually, I'm going to click bake. I'm going to make sure all these settings are correct. I'm just going to leave them as they are. And I'm going to hit bake. And uh, if your map is huge, it'll take um, a while. Uh, but mine was very simple, so it only took a couple seconds. So here we have this giant blue mat. Now this mat will not be seen by in the game, but when you click on the navigation, you will see it. Now, what is this mat? This is anywhere that the AI can walk on. Well, it doesn't, can't walk yet, but it will. So let's go to our enemy and go back to the inspector. And we're going to drag our enemy script onto the enemy. Now, what is this enemy script, you ask? Well, it's a script I completely, uh, or not completely, I created. Um, and basically what it does is it finds the player, a game object with the tag player, and it tracks it down. And it doesn't have to be the player, but it, it, it can be whatever you want. So let's go to enemy, drag this on here, and you'll see it comes up with options. Uh, and what we're going to have to do is drag this object, which is the enemy, so it's, it's itself, and the target, which is my first person controller, aka the player. And we're going to have to click add component and do nav mesh agent, this one. And you will see it pops up with a whole bunch of options. Now you can change these as you wish. This is just the speed of the uh, AI of the enemy, acceleration, how fast it turns, where it stops, yada, yada, yada. You can change with this as much as you want. Um, the last thing we have to do is go on enemy and tag it as a player. Or I'm sorry, not the enemy. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, the first person controller and tag it as a player. And now when we hit play, the enemy walks around the wall. So it no longer goes through the wall. It just walks around it, which is pretty cool. Now, there's a couple things you need to make sure uh, that I forgot to mention. On these, uh, on objects that you don't want the enemy to walk through, like for example this wall, you need to make sure it's static. Uh, and you need to make sure it's static before you navigate and bake your map. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, otherwise, it doesn't work as well. But that is it, guys. Uh, that is the simple AI tutorial. Uh, this script, the enemy script, will be located on my website in the description below. Uh, along with all the other scripts that I have ever created. And, uh, yeah. A lot of you guys have been asking, like, hey, Ryan, can I use your scripts for my project, or can I make money off of it? Just a reminder, guys, all scripts that I post on my website are for your use, commercial use, whatever you guys want. Uh, I don't ask for you guys to put me in the credits, but it is greatly appreciative. Uh, however, use it freely as you want. You could take it, make your own videos off of it, whatever. I don't care. It's for you. It's for public use. Enjoy. Alright guys, that's all my time. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like down below. Comment if you have any questions. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.